There's the, the Sunborn yacht just there, look. Because I'm in the Docklands. I'm in number three cable car going over the River Thames, um, which goes from North Greenwich, the O2, to the Docklands, the other side of the river. Um, it's, a, it's a nice tourist attraction. It gives you a little bit of a view of the city, not much, but um, it's a quick way of getting over to, to Greenwich. So if you're visiting uh, Greenwich Mean Time, um, which is right up the hill by the Maritime Museum, you've got the Naval College as well, which is breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. Um, and then you've got Greenwich Village as well, plus the O2. So there's a lot to see in Greenwich. So it's a quick and easy way to get over there. Other than that, Jubilee Line will get you to um, yeah, North Greenwich Station, or you can get the DLR to uh, Greenwich Station as well, which is near the Cutty Sark. So there you go, and the Cutty Sark's in Greenwich as well. But we're not going there today. We're going to try something different, something that um, I used to do quite a lot. Um, don't do it enough, so treating myself today. Um, and we're going to do a little transition because we always want to be somewhere else, don't we? Incidentally, when you do come over on the cable cars, it's a long walk into Greenwich. So I suggest getting a 188 bus or a 129, which takes you into Greenwich Village. Very handy. Um, I know sometimes there's that stigma in there, oh, I'm not going on the bus. Trust me. It's just, it's a very cheap, easy way of going two or three miles. Just wanted to say as well that you don't have to come to the O2 to see a show. Just come because there's so much going on. You get the food store markets, street food. You got the food hall that's recently been built about a year ago. Uh, and it's just bars and restaurants all around the outside as well as the inside. So don't think that you can't come to the O2 because you're not seeing a show. You can come anyway, just walk in, free of charge, don't need a ticket or anything like that. Just walk in the O2 and then all around the, the outskirts of the arena is um, bars and restaurants. And also on the first floor, there's a shopping mall. It's like the TARDIS, the O2, trust me. On count of three. One, right, okay. Now, how much pressure have you got on there on a scale of one to ten? One. So when you grip the golf club, how much pressure did you have? Probably a seven. See the difference? Yeah. So when you do that, now grip that as a seven, what yeah. do you lose? Power. <laughs> Straight away? Yeah. So it is the nonchalantness is what you right. need to get it going. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I've just realised that I haven't introduced you to Wick. Not only this is my friend Wick, but he was actually a professional golfer. 
So he used to be an instructor. Not a good one. <laughs> I was, I was he played right. off scratch and he, yeah. he used to teach in Holland. Yeah. So that's the reason I'm getting lessons because it's not just someone that plays golf that thinks he knows better. <laughs> he actually knows how to teach. So I and forgot to mention that in the, the beginning. The fact that was in Holland, your saying would be, Hukarimi Yaudan. That's how you're doing in Dutch. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just waiting to finish off because um, I've had enough now. My, I'm not going to say my back's hurting because that's an excuse, but it is. You've got to do it, you've got to do it till you enjoy it. When the enjoyment's yeah. gone, we stop. Yeah. But I just wanted to finish off, say thanks to Wick for uh, showing me the way. My pleasure. And also, just a very quick one, Wick, for those who don't know, how long you lived in Tenerife now? This time around five years. Um, my daughter was born here 19 years ago, so we lived here a stint then. Um, my mum's been here since I was 16, and my sister's been here about 30 years. So I've been on off the island since I was about 16, really. So you've so, got, you got a bit of a love of Tenerife, Oh, you? what's there not to love? Look at that. I know. What is there not to love? It's amazing. It's I Honestly, know. it's fascinating. But this is like 10 minutes outside where all the holidaymakers are. Yeah. And it's just so peaceful and so quiet. We're the only people here. Yeah. And it's like... And it's what, beautiful. I, what is it? A multi-million pound complex, and we're the only people here. Feel a yeah. bit spoiled, don't you? Yeah. And we've got two channels yeah, uh, greedy. on YouTube. Greedy. So if you want to just mention them and then uh, we we'll wrap and, it up. Rick and Shelley, that's uh, the one that we do a day to day over Tenerife, where Shelley's a singer on the island. Uh, I'm a compere and we look at restaurants and places. And the one I'm going to be filming for in a couple of minutes is just Rick, which is the 51 year old divorced dad who has a blether and a chat with his mates. There you go. And that's what we're doing now. There you go. So, thanks again. Mate, my pl always a pleasure. Always and, a pleasure. Uh, we'll wrap it up and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. I just wanted to finish off by saying, um, I get a lot of people saying, especially when I'm in Tenerife, oh, do you not meet up with all the others that you met in Tenerife? Um, the answer is no, because Rick always says, funny enough, and I agree with him, friendship's a two-way street. So, there comes a point where you know, you're trying to keep in contact with these people and it's a one-way street. So in the end, it's like, you know what, I'm done. So this is why there's friends and there's true friends, you know, and I met Rick in Tenerife, what, three years ago and we've stayed uh, good friends since and we're always in contact. And it's a two-way street and that's how it should be. So I'm gonna leave it there, but that's, kind of the clutch of it you know so I hope that um, answers your question if you get value from the video share it with friends that don't know about Dan and John and hopefully they get value from the content as well hopefully see you on the next one